News on the block is that Craig Butler loves to yap and is a contradictory and hypocritical demon. They got Gunners Podcast. The Gunners Podcast. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you're a part of that 77.2% of folks who watch our video regularly and don't subscribe, what are you waiting on? If you watch our videos regularly, go ahead right now and hit that fat red subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever we do post videos. If you want to follow us on our social media pages, you can do so at 876Gunners on Instagram and TikTok. And lastly, if you want to support us monetarily, you can do so by buying us a coffee. You can find the link below in the description. Great. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because Craig Butler made a few comments about Dijon Richards' exclusion from the Reggae Boys CONCACAF Nations League squad in March. He mentioned how Bailey Karamartri of Sheffield Wednesday and Kahim Dixon, a schoolboy, was selected over his prized possession Dujan Whisper Richards. Now, whether I agree or disagree with his comments, you guys will find out that later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. But what I want to start off with is the fact that it's not what he says a lot of the times, but it's the way he says it and how he delivers his thoughts that just get some people enraged with him. Like a lot of people, he has a very huge fan base and a lot of people just love him for how straightforward he is. But a lot of people are a bit disgusted um, by the way he says things or the things that he say he says i should say um and it's just uh 50 50 with craig butler he has a whole lot of haters and he has a whole lot of people that love him right so i'm going to delve into these comments that he made and i'm just going to try and break it down for you guys um inform you guys and then later on in the video let you guys know what I feel about these comments. So forgive me, guys. I'm going to be placing the comment that um, Craig Butler made under a post that he made, but he was replying to a comment that someone made on his post, right? It will be shown somewhere right here. Um, and as I said, guys, forgive me. This guy always has a whole lot of typos <laughs> in his, his messages. So forgive me. I can read, but it's going to be a bit difficult for me to read through so many typos by Craig Butler, but I'll try. So as you're seeing on screen now, the comment says, listen, Whisper played schoolboy football for one year. I believe that's to show Jamaica how good he is. Um, and that's the reason why I'm not sure what he's trying to say right there. <laughs> Again, the typos. Um, he was never designed for schoolboy football. I had him in England for three years prior and on test, etc., and playing him against European teams. His uh, chances were already lined up. Uh, Dixon is a good player and a good fit in a good team, but not the impact player who Whisper is. In time, um, in time, all will find their way, and maybe both will be the same, both will be in the same national team. But to bypass a whisper who got called up and scored on his debut and was the second youngest player to score in history. All this while, whisper made a forward, upward move to Chelsea. Hey, these typos are killing me. Um, to Chelsea Football Club. Um, Asked some serious questions. Why would anyone bypass whisper? know when he's doing even better at Chelsea than schoolboy football ever. Um, that I'm thinking he's saying ever think that it might be from the orders above, again, attacking JFF or whoever is selecting um, the same orders that listed Phoenix players unmatched. Now, how you think Whisper feels? You think he's excited for a call-up? And to the person saying I'm not a good manager because someone in the comments basically said that he's not a good manager or agent. He's good for developing players and coaches, but he should stop the yapping and focus on that. So he is responding to that right now. Um, for the person that says, I am not a good manager or agent, show me someone from Jamaica with a better track record of success, getting players into pro football and keeping them there. So that was his comment 
um, his reply to a comment. Now, I'm going to be breaking down this long para that he made. There were many, and I'll be breaking down the others as well. Um, so the first major point that I'm seeing him make here is the fact that Whisper only played schoolboy football to show Jamaica what he can do because he had been building Whisper three years before in Europe and he knew what he was capable of, but he decided to let Whisper play schoolboy football just to show Jamaica what he's capable of. And that's the truth, to be honest, because Whisper, they knew, he also said that Whisper's plan was already played out. Like they already knew what was going to happen after. And even if you guys look back to some videos, Whisper knew that that was the plan as well and he was happy with it because there was an interview after the schoolboy football period where uh, a, an interviewer basically asked Whisper, what's next? And him say, yo, after this, you know, see me again, I'm gone, I'm gone. You know, go see me after this, my father. I'm gone, I'm gone. gone. You see me? So, um, Craig Butler is speaking the truth there, saying that is the reason why, just to let Jamaica see what Dujan Whisper Richards is capable of. Um, so, yeah, and the next major point that he is trying to make is the fact of the time when the under-20 squad was selected, I believe a lot of Phoenix players made it. However, JFF, when posting that squad with the teams that those players represented, posted the teams of all of the players except Phoenix representatives. Instead, they put unattached beside of um, their names, right? And they did it twice, I believe. So Craig Butler was obviously disgusted by that because um, Phoenix is a registered club worldwide. But yet still, they didn't place Phoenix beside their name, which is a form of disrespect. So I do agree with Craig Butler there. And you guys who disagree with a lot of what Craig Butler said, do not bash me in this video because I have disagreed with some things that I will disagree with some things later on in the video. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so far in that comment, I'm not seeing anything where he it that would cause people to really get angry. So that was the first comment. Now I'm heading into the second one. So the other comment is that I believe is what coupled with that long paragraph that he made, which is a different post from this comment I'm about to show you guys. I think the, the whole thing compiled together is what is getting a whole lot of reggae boys fans upset with Craig Butler. And the comment that he made was on the Leng Media 360's post about Kahim Dixon potentially going to Europe or going elsewhere, right? Um, and really and truly, Butler, I see why people are saying you talk a little bit too much because this has nothing to do with you. It's not a Phoenix player. So if you don't have nothing good to say, lock shop. You see me? So this that comment that he made under, as I said, Line Media 360's post about Kahim Dixon, um, as I said, which personally, I believe it's a valid point, but it wasn't a point that was needed, to be honest, to be fair. So the comment says, if he is, again, a whole lot of typos, if he is to move to a club this summer, he should be training with them by now. Now, again, I believe this is a very valid point. But again, he's not your player. There, are, There's a whole lot of good vibes around the player and around the news um, about this player. There's no need for you to comment something like that. The mere fact that you comment something like that, again, I'm not saying that he is, um, he dislikes or hates the player, but it gives a perception that you're fighting out the player or you don't like the player or you hate the player or because he's not your player, um, then he can't make it to Europe. That is what the perception is that he gave, especially with all of these comments around the same time on different posts, fans are just seeing that and they're like, what the hell is this guy on? Why is he fighting out Dixon? So again, even if he is not, that is the perception that he's giving, just talking a bit too much and talking on topics that he does not need to speak about. And I also believe there were some comments as well about the fact that Whisper is the best player in his age group across the entirety of Jamaica. Anyone who can represent Jamaica at his age group, Whisper is the best. Now, that includes Bailey Karamartri and Kahim Dixon. And he also made mention to Bailey Karamartri as well, who was called up to the national team and said that 
Wispa is better than both Bailey Karamartri and Kahim Dixon. And here's where my opinion is going to come in, right? So you guys waited. If you're here right now, this is where my opinion will come in. All right, so my first point will be, and my first opinion on this entire matter, is that I agree and I, I disagree with the point that he made about Wispa being the best in his age group and the best young player um, in the entirety of Jamaica. And the reason I say that is because I don't think so. Like, we've seen him play, and he's very good. But we've seen him play, a majority of the games that we've seen Wispa play is against people of his age group. Bailey Karamartri is a championship player, and he's starting in a championship team. Now, yes, Dujami Spiritual is playing for Chelsea, but he's playing for Chelsea's academy. And one could argue that if he was so good, he should be in the Chelsea first team. Or if he's as good as Craig Butler says he is, then he should be starting in a first team somewhere, right? So I'm not going to just take Craig's word for that. I think that's a bit biased, which a lot of people also um, a lot of people also pinpoint Craig for being, which is biased. I think that specific quote is a bit biased. I don't think there's enough evidence. I'm not saying that he is, but I don't think that there's enough evidence that we have seen to say that he is a better player than Billy Karamarchi. Now, Kaim Dixon, on the other hand, I can see why he would be upset that Kaim Dixon was called up to the national team over Dujan Whisper Richards. So that's the reason why, why I said I agree and I disagree. I agree with the fact that um, he should have been called up over Kaim Dixon, but I also disagree with the fact that he is better than, not fact that, but I also disagree with his point that he, that Whisper is better than Billy Karamarchi and could have been called up over Bailey Karamarchi. And that's my first opinion. My second opinion on the matter is that sometimes I believe fans misunderstand what he's saying. And we have to understand that Craig, Leon, and the whole Phoenix fan base have a whole heap of fight out, and they have been getting um, fight for a long period of time. And I can speak from experience. When you get fight or when you get, or when something is against you where, where you just do like for years upon years, you kind of tend to get a little bit rebellious. And I think that is what Craig Butler is right now. He's a very rebellious old man. So there was a comment as well that someone made where he said, let me just get this comment for you guys right now. Um, bro, you're not have to throw a word off a JFF on every single post where you make. Right? So, yeah, guys, there, there, there's just a whole lot of, lot of, lot of stuff going on with Craig Butler. And I think he's just a very rebellious old man. And I think he makes very strong points a lot of the time. But because of his character and because of the way how he is, people might just take it out of context, right? And my last opinion on this matter is, yes, Craig, I believe you talk a little bit too much. You yap a bit too much sometimes. Like, if it's not about your players, you don't need to talk. All right, you think your player could have, should have gotten called up over another player then talk about that but you don't need to go and talk about kahim dixon um should have been in europe and should have this and should have that that was just a little that was out of out of pocket you, you, you didn't have to do that he's not your player you have no affiliation with him so yeah i'm not saying you hate him but it comes off as hate and yeah that's basically it for this video guys it went a bit too long i didn't want it to be this long so if you're new here Leave your thoughts on in the comment. Is Craig Butler a hypocrite? Let me know. I really want to know. Comment down below. Like, subscribe as well. Hit that fat red notification button. And follow us at 876Gunners on Instagram and TikTok. And lastly, if you want to support us, you can do so by buying us a coffee. The link is below in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Big Up Gunners Podcast. The Gunners Podcast.